Hey, can I, hold on. Here's the thing. There's a little feature in DaVinci Resolve that I really wanna share with you. It's nothing fancy. So this thing that I'm talking about is actually something really straightforward, but it's very, very useful for me as a stock footage contributor. And it's exporting all the clips, every single clip in a timeline as individual clips. This is something that Premiere could not do without the use of Adobe Media Encoder. And I don't really mind Adobe Media Encoder that much. I mean, it's fine. I use it for converting other things, but this dynamic link that they call it, uh, this feature that connects all the Adobe programs together, it rarely worked as well as I would have liked it to. I don't enjoy uh, complaining about things, but Sally would often send clips from Premiere Pro to Adobe Media Encoder and it just couldn't connect. It just didn't want to export the videos. So here's the thing, DaVinci Resolve has this feature built in. And I know I've been talking about DaVinci Resolve uh, a lot for the past few uh, videos, but that's cause it's new to me. I'm still learning and I'm excited about it and it's fun. All right, so, so let me just show you this feature that I find so important, even though it's really nothing fancy at all. So here, here's a little uh, little project, a little uh, stock footage shoot uh, that I did a few uh, days ago. Uh, here are all the clips in the timeline, all next to each other. Now, as a stock footage contributor, what I want to do is I want to export all of these clips separately so that I can upload them to my portfolio and get the images. Now, what I would have to do in Premiere Pro was to create an in and out point for every single clip. And I would add that clip to the render queue in Media Encoder. And I'd do that for every single clip in the timeline and create this long list in Media Encoder for all the things, for all the clips that I wanted to export. Here, however, you don't have to do that at all clear this in and out point, we're just gonna jump over to the Deliver tab. So as you can see, here are all my clips. Now when I upload footage to Getty Images, I export Apple ProRes uh, 422, mostly. Sometimes 444, 4. <laughs> if there's uh, some alpha channels and stuff. But usually 422 HQ. So that's what I've got um, already set up uh, right up here. Uh, I'm gonna turn the audio off because there's no audio in these, um, or I don't want to use the audio in these. Now, the important part. Right here, under the location where you want to save your footage, you can change from single clip to individual clips. And that is going to take every single clip from your timeline and save that as its own little video. You can jump over here to file. You can create a custom name for this. So I just like to use uh, today's date. So it's uh, the 30th of uh, January. I'm just gonna call this test uh, render. And I also like to check this use unique file names. And I like to add it at the end. So that's gonna do, it's gonna, every clip's gonna be named the date underscore test render and then followed by a unique file name. So if I go and hit add to render queue right now, you can see that up here, you can see that it's one render job, but it saves 21 clips. Now all I have to do is hit render all and DaVinci is gonna save all these little clips as individual videos for me. And I can just upload that to my portfolio. Simple as that. And that's, uh, that's basically all I want to show you. Just a little um, short DaVinci Resolve uh, tip for, for all you um, stock footage contributors out there. It's a, it's a time saver for sure. I guess that's it. Uh, take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I lost my train of thought, forgot what I was talking about, so now I have to listen to myself talk in this video to see where I actually was in this video. And before I can continue, uh, life.